Welcome back to Project Watch. This is Sophie. Today I'm going to be talking about the weapons that I'm find in one of your favorite port them in St. James. So I'm going to try to bring them to the country and they more up on them. Right. I don't know if a true man down at the port or you know, customs man go to the USA, jail time will come and decide to finally start work. Right. Because it's very spooky. Anyway, I'm going to talk about the fine and I'm going to also go back into the whole self defense thing. Especially when I see I go on abroad. It's just strengthening my resolve, right? Because when push come to shove and attacking defend people's life and I hope for the best defend people's life. Right? And, and, and I call for your favorite celeb walk to be some foreign defend people's life. What I go show no the weapon them, them fine. So seven of them. Four of them rifles. First thing I have to understand. When you notice somebody else up here rifle them are fine. Notice 87 is not even interested in a handgun again. Who no notice that? 87 is not even interested in a handgun. That was, that come like jolting to them right now. P rifle them there, man. Now, look on your screen. Right. You see the rifle? So from the top come down, right? When you count, one, two, three. So the top one, right? They have the second one below it, they have the third one. That rifle there, so. Spooky. You see that weapon right there, so? Third from top. That shows me the 87s are getting more and more advanced. Look on it good. Now, if you're, you know, if you follow the British English, right, they call that a carbine. If you, you know, work with the American English, they call it the carbine. But, Look on the sides, or as people call it, scope. Right. Look on the foregrip. That's the thing where uh, uh, more everybody understand me. I say. So looking at that weapon from the back, right? Then you see the magazine. Everybody knows a magazine, right? And in front of the magazine, that little straight thing there, so that's called a foregrip. Right. This weapon is interesting. It's even a sling. I'm going to show you something. I want you to look on your screen right now. This right here, so, is what they call the SAP mod right, accessory kit. Right. If you're not aware, SAP mod stands for Special Operations Peculiar Modification. Right. So, look on that, the rifle you see there, so, and look on the rifle I showed you earlier. And let me show it again. See? Basically, the same thing. No matter of fact, 87 of them have one of the sides them on it so they've removed the iron side to accommodate and put on uh, aftermarket side but it has the same foregrip everything the user may assure this is because sap mod was originally bringing in for special forces us socom special operations command back in the day only the most elite soldiers used to have weapons kitted out like this 87s in a Jamaica have weapons that are kitted out like a Satmod M4. Your favorite gang member have Satmod kit on him weapon. The man have everything. Don't take my word for it. Look on your screen. This is the official Satmod M4 kit. Whether it want to be an M4 or M16 carbine or a carbine, it are the, same, are the same thing. Same results. Four grip, everything. Sling, everything. Special forces. The rifles that Jamaican criminals have are the same rifle them that countries issue to their special forces. Now that register on the head, so we understand right, the magnitude of that situation. We could go back to the port. Then find the weapon them right, hide off in a TV can we go? Right, it's like a TV shipment and then them try to stash it off in between and hide. With the way you see them try to hide them behind one church. Obviously, we you see, I will know it's 87s. I try to put the weapon them in the places where you know I go look. So you know I go look in one church and I guess them I hope say, you know, you see the TV and that's loud. But we know so when customs do them job, you can't hide no gun on the TV box or on the TV. Them TV and what is a big a flat screen. And like one time we don't have the big old box where you can't hide on, you know. So them they must have tried hiding in the box or something. So if customs do them job, they can't find him that easy and look at the end of them job today. 
by whoever find him. Right. But I want him to think about this. When you have criminals walking around with weapons, sap mod kit on them rifles. Weapons that were originally set up for special operations soldiers. When you have regular gunmen walk on you that. Imagine your favorite FLA chief I go tell you say. You know, you can't see the reason why you need one, one firearm. Because him sitting on him watch CNN and him, him watch him, him study New York and he say, Oh, them parts in New York have? Alright, I could bring him to Jamaica. Imagine that man look, man go look on you and tell you that. You see, when FLA are turning on people, one thing they always tell him is, we don't see no reason why you need a firearm. Right. FLA want to know why you need a firearm. They want this hell of a reason you have to prove this and prove that. And they're not the complex you know. The answer as to why people who are pro self defense, pro gun, want legal firearms is simple. Them live in Jamaica. That the next time anybody at FLA ask you know, why you need a firearm, answer, answer the question like this because I live in Jamaica. You don't need nothing no more than that. I'm a law abiding man, working man, trying to protect my family, right? and I live in Jamaica. Why people need to give them more explanation? Huh? Jamaica have the highest murder rate in the entire region, top five in the entire world. And top five is being kind because I haven't actually seen a list where Jamaica is top five. But we see the list where they're number one in the region, but sometimes this one next list comes out to like Venezuela, number one. Or El Salvador, that number two. So we don't say top five to be fair. Right. But we don't say Jamaica is a third, second, and first. But always run about top five. So, if in the entire world, your country is top five for murder rate, what more reason than that you need? What more reason than that you need? That is the reason. Nobody is supposed to have a show you want 15 acre of land and the fact that them walk around with 6 million dollars in a cash in their pocket. That is the reason why they so. But you know the argument against guns, right? Guns are inherently evil and bad and a gun is just a tool, right? Can't do nothing without the person behind it. Then they say, well, how we know say, man now go shoot them wife? If a man is in a fit of rage and he decides to say, kill him, man. You have at least six things in the house so you can use to it. Even if you go through the process of FLA for getting a gun for killing a woman. And even if he did do that, charge him and fling him away in a jail. How does that affect my right to defend myself? This is the kind of scary tactic they use here about man because you start kill a woman. Even though I'm showing you numbers them. This idea that Jamaican women are being wiped out by these viciously violent, jealous Jamaican men who just kill a man daily. We know said it's simply not true. There would always be you know, somebody who use a gun in even a like a legal firearm in the wrong way. There would always be but that that should not affect nobody's ability to get one. One thing to look on the screen right now. How many people know or remember this name? Right. Mohammed Bulel. Only know him? Ever heard of him? This man is responsible for killing 86 people and injuring 434 in one day. This man killed 86 people, injured 434 in one day. He did it in a place called Nice in France. Anybody know how he did it? Does anybody right, know how this brother killed 86 people? Okay, I think they said, boy, no man, he must have one hell of a mas machine gun. What him use? I must something with the Russian name of them use. 86 people? 434 people in one go? How did he do it? How did he, why Serpy tell, tell you what kind of gun do that? That the gun they must come from space. 
And what's the Elon Musk Smith that gone there? He used that truck. Let me repeat that. He used a truck. As in the same truck where people use carry on biscuit and bun and bread and drop off and sell goods. He used one of them there and killed 86 people and injured 434. I think it was a Bastille Day celebration. I wonder if you understand the point of my driving. The idea that people need guns to kill is downright ridiculous. If somebody have ill intention at them heart, they will simply find a tool where they can use it to kill people. Do you know what's the single largest mass shooting in American history done by one man? It was in 2017. It was done by a Billy Joe named Stephen Paddock, 64 year old. Do you know how many people he killed? 60. 60. He fired over 1,000 rounds. It was a concert going on, people group up and killed 60. Mohamed Boulel killed 86 with a truck in France. Woke France. Right, you know, people have say countries in Europe like the UK and France, they don't have the, you know, the, these loose gun laws, so they don't get the killings. Lie. I'm telling about narrative, right? They don't have these mass killings. Yes, they do. Right. 86 people dead with a truck. 60 people dead right. with one man a fire off a barrage of rounds. Last time I checked, 86 higher than 60. The point I'm trying to make if somebody want to wreak chaos, all if you take away the whole of them gun in front of them, they can jump in them truck and do it. And if you take away them truck, he go feel last. If you take away them last, he right. may shoot one ball off on a hill. Do not underestimate human beings' ability to come up with ways. To take life. Human beings have been taking life before the gun was invented. Before there were guns, man did have sword, man did have spear, man did have bow and arrow, man is sharp and stone. Human beings will never stop finding ways to kill themselves. So knowing all that, I know say, man out there, with them are desperately wicked, you know, telling me I can't defend myself because the tool that I would use to defend myself is inherently bad. 86 people with a truck but your favorite walk if you talk about that because what they made us say ban trucks you see according to walk tv's logic since one truck can't kill 86 people we need to ban trucks a matter of fact the french government or the french france fla should have started making people jump through hoops uh, forget you know truck license car you might just go and go kill people it's a ridiculous right, argument as I say, I'm not trying to convince nobody. I'm just speaking up for like-minded individuals who are tired of being left in the dust. Right. We realize they're in a country where 87s are walking around with rifles that are given to special forces soldiers and they're unarmed. And people are telling them, say, well, if nothing happens, just call the police. I want for the best. Or just you know, press the panic button alarm. King Alarm or Hakai. The mark on man. Let's do reach. Because that's how that's how 87s work. When them stick you up, you say, hold on, hold on, hold on, give me a little time and I'm gonna press my panning button on that and then and then give me another time to call the police. Yeah? Thank you, Mr. 87. Yeah, man, I saw it work. These weapons demand them a walk around. Then can go deploy, go fight the Russians them right now with them. And that's not right, hyperbole. These are just, if you were to send troops to go fight Russia, no, the, the same weapons them get the same as them have, are the same weapons them those so that we get to go fight. And regular gunmen that they make a walk around them. The government has failed to protect the people. The government has failed right, to deal with crime in Jamaica. The government has failed to deal with the clans and the one others and the drunken nations and the bed bugs and the 5150s. But on top of it, they might tell you, say, 
No, you see no reason why you need to protect yourself. Why do you need one? Come here by Jamaica, that's the reason. That's the only reason you need. I have no criminal record, right? I'm a working man, and that's the only reason you need. Stop making people who already have firearms tell you about you don't need one. I'd come like a man who get niggle every night. I tell you, say, yo, you must also get jerky and lotion. You don't need an eagle eye. But you don't give up for him eagle eye now. Right? You don't give up for him eagle eye, but you might tell you, say, yo, eagle eye is nothing special. Right? You, don't need, you don't need one. Right? And, and, and suppose you go get one and next thing you know, you go mash it up. And go stuff there coke in it. No man, you don't forget none because the risk too great. But me, I keep my own though. Complete joke. Only can go to them people telling foolishness. Like Hollywood celebrities with them bodyguards telling the foolishness. Anyway, Patreon Squad, be open yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know more life. Ultra Squad, stay circling. Bless.